everyone, I am Ariel, snowboard expert at curated.com, and I've helped over hundreds of people find the perfect snowboard gear for them. And today I got to ride the Roxy Breeze in a 148 at the beautiful Powder Mountain Resort in Utah. Just so you all know, I am not sponsored by any brands and all of my opinions are completely unbiased and all mine. Roxy claims that the Breeze is an all mountain board with a snappy medium flex, ready to take on a variety of terrain on the entire mountain. My impressions of the Roxy Breeze were that I was pleasantly surprised. I tend to really like a full cambered profile board. This board's got rocker in between the feet and camber underneath the feet to give you that perfect hybrid profile. I'd love to get you kitted and fitted for your next adventure. So go ahead and click that link in the description. You can get matched up with me or another expert and we'll get you all ready for whatever, wherever life takes you. The carbon underneath the feet also gave this board a little bit of pop. I was able to get it up in the air enough to, you know, to help it be fun. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this board to a park rider or a shredder who just likes to send it on every single jump and get all the air. You're definitely gonna have other boards out there that will be a little bit poppier. It was super easy to make turns on this thing. It was great in the trees. I always say that a hybrid board is kind of that best of both worlds. It's definitely gonna have those contact points with the camber, which is gonna give you that control. And then that rocker is really gonna help make it a little bit more playful, help it kind of be a little bit more maneuverable for you as you're going all over the mountain. And that's exactly what this board was. It is a true all mountain board for your intermediate rider. So I would say this board is perfect for my lady riders that have maybe taken a few lessons already. They've got their turns under their belt and they're decent snowboarders already. And they're looking for that board that's gonna take them all over the mountain, let them explore everything, whether it's on groomers, trees, maybe taking a couple laps to the park and just have a board under their feet that is lively and energetic and playful. I wouldn't say that this board is gonna be your fastest board. There are gonna be other profiles and other boards out there that are gonna be a little bit faster. But if you are someone who is getting into the sport, wants to get on their first deck and is looking for something that will help them progress and you're not gonna grow out of it too fast, this is gonna be a great board for you. I didn't feel like there was anything that this board couldn't do, but I didn't think that this board did everything the best. If you are a rider that has kind of been on some rental boards and you're looking for a confidence boost, this board is going to be a great option for you. If you are more of an advanced rider and looking for something that's faster, a little bit sendier, um, can get into those really, really deep carves, this board is not going to be your jam. As you can see, there's tons of different boards out there and they're meant for all different types of riders in all shapes and sizes. I'd love to help you find the perfect setup for you. So come find me on curated.com. We'll chat, we'll get you all geared up for your next adventure and you'll be kitted and fitted and ready to go. If you like what you see and wanna see more content from Curated, hit that subscribe button and comment below with what you want us to review next.